So far, he's raised £40,000 towards scientific research. And it's research that can't come soon enough for his family. Because Chris may have passed the faulty gene onto his son. Dexter was born 10 months ago after an unplanned pregnancy. Find out I was expecting. He was just a complete and utter shock, to be honest. He might have it, he might not. He's got a 50-50 chance, but um, we want him to get tested. You're not allowed to, so... Um, he has to make that decision. Yeah. yeah. But he's got a 50% chance of being healthy. Yeah. That's the way we had to look at it. Yeah. And, um, if he's got it, you know, he, but before he kicks in, which is in my family, probably around the you know, mid-30s, lot of medicine we the right years ahead of this today. You know, we don't know if a cure's going to come in time for Chris. Um, but we're pretty hopeful that we want in time for Dexter if, if he carries the gene as well. Families in this awful situation face an uncertain future, but they could also be the key to finding a cure for Alzheimer's. Here at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery, families affected by the faulty gene are taking part in a groundbreaking drug trial. Thank you.